Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlifegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be creating the web favorites um, tray application. So let's see here, we'll set the favorites viewer YouTube as our startup project. So set a startup project and if we go ahead and run this you can see that it opens up this window right here. Now if somebody already has their favorites in their bar of their internet browser, why wouldn't they just open their internet browser and go to that instead of opening a whole other application to go to it? So what we're going to be making is a program that runs in the tray of the taskbar and whenever the user right clicks on it, they can see their favorites and automatically open one of those uh, whenever they click on it. So we'll go ahead and close out of this and we'll come over here to our solution and we'll click file add new project so we will just shrink this down some we'll select a windows forms application and we'll call it favorites favorites viewer tray and then we'll go ahead and click OK and it looks like I selected a class library so let's remove this and we need to do file add new project windows forms application and favorites viewer tray and then we'll go ahead and click OK and I'll just call it favorites viewer tray YouTube because that project already exists. Okay, so here's our form one right here. Now let's come, come over to the properties and we want it to um, not show the form. So we'll set the window state to minimize and we will find the property show in taskbar and we'll set that to false. Okay, so now whenever the form opens, it's gonna be minimized and it's not gonna be shown in the taskbar. So what this does is it keeps the user from op opening this form because there's nothing on it uh, for them to use. So we'll come over here and let's add a notify icon. Go ahead and get out of the toolbox. Okay, so we'll set this, the name of this notify icon to, let's just do icon notify favorites go ahead and press enter so now we need to select form one and let's come over here to the events and we'll just add one more thing that will keep them from being able to see the form so we need to find the visible changed event so here is visible changed so we'll just use a simple if statement here so if me dot visible so it gives the sets or value indicating whether contr the control and all its child controls are displayed. So if form one is visible, oh, well if me dot visible equals true, then me dot visible equals false. So what this is going to do is it's going to, if form one is visible and all of the controls on it are visible, um, then it's going to set it to where it isn't visible. Now we need to go ahead and come over here and set an icon for our notify icon. Let's see here. Hmm, looks like it didn't save the name. So we'll just call it icon notify. And we will set the icon to the favorites icon that we have used before. So we'll just go ahead and open that. So now what we can do is we can set the text to ah that's what I changed I changed the text and not the name so we'll set the text to right click for favorites so let's go ahead and run this and we need to set our startup project to the favorites viewer YouTube So let me fix this real quick. Or favorites viewer tray YouTube. 
So we'll set this as the startup project. And if we go ahead and run this, you can see that nothing shows up. But if we come down here and look in our tray, uh, this is actually my timer for these tutorials to see how long it's been uh, taking me. But if we come down here to our tray, you can see that here is our um, icon with the star and it says right click for favorites but if we right click nothing shows up so what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial is learning how to make it show a menu whenever they right click it so they can view their favorites